What up, y'all? It's been a while since I've made a walking around my neighborhood video. Um, <clears throat> just decided I want to get some exercise, so. Pretty happy nowadays, like happier, I guess I should say. I don't know if I'd ever say I'm happy, but. Like I was really full of piss and vinegar a few months ago when I wasn't working. I probably made a lot more, like a lot better videos back then. Oh, look, there's a cockroach. Can you see him? Man, so many freaking cockroaches. Out. It's unbelievable how many cockroaches are in Arizona. I don't understand why they're here. Because, I mean, I grew up in the Midwest and the only people who ever had cockroaches in their house or on their property were what we consider to be filthy people. If you had cockroaches, that just meant that you were just a, you know, like the stigma associated with it was that you're a scumbag. But here it's like, if you don't, if you don't get your house sprayed, it, like your house and your yard sprayed every single day, you'll get cockroaches in your house because first of all, they're everywhere down here. Like they are everywhere. They love some, there's something about the heat that they love. Um, and also when it gets too hot, which I guess this has been the hottest July on record in the Phoenix area. Um, when it gets too hot outside, like 115 plus, they're looking for some relief, so they're they're trying to get into your house because it's cooler in there. So they'll find any way possible to get in your house. So you just you have to be all over the spring. Um, <laughs> when I first moved here, I bought a house and I had cockroaches in the house. I was like, oh my god! Like I told my mom, I was like, I have cockroaches. She's like, what? And then it didn't take me too long to figure out that like all my friends had cockroaches in their house. I was like, is this a normal thing in Arizona? They're like, yeah, that's why you like, you gotta have a bug guy and you gotta be like religious about spraying about it. Like, like every single month without missing a month, you gotta spray your house or you get cockroaches, especially during the summer. So anyway, I'm sure you guys are really interested in that. But anyway, um, just an update. Uh, um, today was my two month anniversary coming back to my job. Really happy about that. Um, obviously getting some income stability is very nice. Um, so that's going well. Um, what else is new? Um, I did join a church. I'm now officially a member of a church in my community. Um, it's called Cornerstone. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to join the production crew. So, I mean, it's not like trying to join it. Like, like I might not get the job or whatever. Like they're going to train me basically on, uh, using their video cameras. And actually, you know, I told them that I've got some experience with videography and stuff like that. And so they're excited to have me, but they've got a pretty legit, um, uh, music ministry. I mean, the videography for the music ministry, it's like first rate. It's like, it's pretty amazing actually. Um, like they got like fog and lasers and all kinds of like incredible. It's incredible actually. Um, now I fully realize that some people aren't into that. Um, but, uh, you know, some people might look at a situation like that and be like, well, this is a waste of money. You know, you should be spending your money on, um, you know, uh, whatever, buying, um, buying food for the poor or whatever. And first of all, they do do stuff like that. It's like, it's not like they don't do stuff like that, but, um, you know, right now I'm, I've got an open mind about it because like the thing is, is that they're, they're reaching out to people who don't want to go to like a traditional type of a church with like boring hymn music. Like there's, there's a real hip crowd out there that wants to basically wants to feel like they're at a rock concert every Sunday morning. <laughs> and as long as the message is good, which it is, it's very good. Then I think they're doing a good job because they're reaching a certain type of person. Um, there's like 5,000 people that attended church. It's, it, it could be considered like a mega church actually, which I never wanted to be a part of a mega church, never. But really when it comes down to it, it's all about the message. Like if the message is good, then 
I don't mind being a part of it and I don't mind tithing my money to uh, pay for that stuff. Um, my attitude has completely changed with regard to stuff like that. Um, my attitude in the past used to be um, basically that um, if you're going to give money, that you should only give money for uh, whatever, to a food bank or, you know, whatever it is. But, I mean, that's a part of that's a part of what they do, but it's not everything that they do. So, um, I think they're doing a lot of good things. I like being a part of it. I'm meeting some really cool people. And it just, for now, it seems like the right thing for me. Um, I might be, I might feel like I'm, I want to gravitate towards something else in the future. And that would be fine with me. Um, but for, for right now, that's, this is where I, this is where I feel like I need to be. So, um, my wife doesn't mind it too much. Like she's not super on board with it, but she goes and I don't, I don't force her to go. You know, she, she does what she wants to do. You know, we don't have that kind of re relationship where I force her to do anything. And I don't think she feels forced. You know, I think she, she goes because she doesn't mind going. I don't think she's super into it though. Um, and my boys are okay with it too, but you know, we're not in a situation that I was in when I was growing up where like I totally did not want to go to church and my mom was just straight up like you're going to church and she would just make me go even though I didn't want to go like I would rather not go um but you know thankfully I'm not in a situation like that because you know when it when it comes down to it would I probably make my kids go if they were dead set on not going I, I probably would but I'm different from my parents in the sense that if my kids were dead set against going and they hated going to church, I would probably try to find a church that they like going to. That's what I would do. That's, that's what I would do differently from what my parents did when I was a kid. My parents were just like, nope, this is the church we're going to and you're going and that's it. Um, whereas um, I'm more open-minded in the sense of like, if my son hates the church or if my wife hates the church or whatever, I would want to find out from them, like, hey, why do you hate this church so much? You know, and if they said, oh, you know, I don't like the pastor. I don't like the message. I think they're wrong about this. And then I'd be like, OK, you know, I would honor my family and be like, OK, well, let's find a church that 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 you don't mind going to. Like, let's find a church that you actually like. Um, and I think that's what my parents or my mom specifically sort of failed to do when I was a kid, you know, um, that's what she sort of failed to do. But it is what it is, you know. I mean, there's a lot of things that my mother succeeded at with regards to raising me. I don't want to just focus on the things that she failed at. But that's one of the things that I try to do differently now. So, anyway. Just a little update about me. Sorry if it's too long of a video. I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes here. But, anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Um, a lot of knife videos going on lately boring sorry i don't really have anything to say about your little knife videos keep making them if that's what you want to do but uh the shafe is not really going to be um having much to say about those or um really too interested in those so maybe i'll make a gun video soon i got some guns i, I would like to show off all right talk to y'all later